I think New Zealanders are taking action and, and people are taking action. So it's up to my research to amplify their voices and to do something with their efforts. They're doing it. So who are we to tell them what to do? They're doing it and they're doing it in different ways. So really that's with the research I hope would actually support their action, not the other way around. So as a researcher coming to understanding moana, there are different ways that we can understand the moana. We can understand it through all sorts of technical, scientific ways. We can understand it through, in my case, ideas around place, ideas around human environment relations. We can understand it through law. We can understand it through governance. There's so many ways that we can come to do research on the moana. I think in some respects, anyone can do research on the one. Like anyone can, poets, writers, painters. This all is important, not just in terms of understanding the Moana, but communicating why it's important and why it's special. Communicating the relationships that we have with it and maybe demystifying while at the same time also maintaining that magical element of the Moana as well. I do feel that often we collectively say that we do love the moana and it holds an important place to us, but we certainly don't live as if that's true. And that's where, again, maybe having diverse ways of understanding that relationship, of understanding the interconnections between people and the moana, a cure to ki sort of way of understanding things is invaluable because maybe it can help us to think about how we might do a better job of living with the moana.